<sighs> oh man. Good morning, everyone. Can you tell I just woke up? Excuse me looking slightly like a corpse, but I needed to start the day off with you guys because we got a busy day ahead of us. Today's just one of those days where everything needs to get done. All of my routines, all of my maintenance stuff. It's hair wash day, so I have to wash my hair and do an everything shower. I literally have about one thing in my fridge that is edible. So we gotta go grocery shopping. I need to clean my apartment because it's getting a little bit grimy. Zoe's out of dog food, so we need to go to the pet store. Today is just a busy day, and honestly, I'm looking forward to it. These are my favorite days. So yeah, we're, we're up nice and early. Get it, we're, I, can't, I can barely form a coherent sentence because I'm like not awake yet. <laughs> but yeah, okay, we gotta get started because I got things to do. Okay, so first order of business, we're gonna prep my hair for wash day with an oil treatment and then I'm just gonna leave this in while I start some of my tasks because we're multitasking, you know? Miso really wants to be on camera today. I personally use the Miel Rosemary and Mint Scalp Oil. Take out my hair, warning, it's dirty, it's greasy. It's been a week since I washed it. I wash my hair once a week, sue me. Just coming out real quick and then we're just gonna add this right onto the scalp. I focus mostly on the top and front of my hair around like my face because I feel like the back and like crown of my head is already really thick. And then the best part, we just, we just rub that in a little scalp massage action. Mm. Yeah, this is a good way to start the morning. <laughs> okay, and after that is rubbed in enough, we're just going to put it back in a tight bun so we can start to marinade while I do some other tasks. All right, there we go. I usually have to keep this in for like minimum an hour, but it doesn't really matter how long. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is go grocery shopping. I'll show you my fridge. I have no food. Let's see what's in here. I have enough to make one salad for lunch. We have lettuce, tofu, and some leftover sweet potato. Half a bag of Brussels sprouts my mom gave me yesterday. And then butter and cream cheese. I mean, I technically could feed myself two meals if I ate the salad and then just Brussels sprouts for dinner, but I'd rather not just eat Brussels sprouts for dinner. However, before I even feed or care for or think about myself, we have to think about the children first. They get fed before I do. Favorite food? Zoe's on her last bit of dog food. Look at that, maybe two scoops left. And this bag was massive. This is a 35 pound bag, insane. In order to know what to get from the grocery store so I don't buy anything that I don't need and won't eat. I of course make a grocery list on my notes app, but I first check my cycle syncing phase and what sort of foods I should be eating and then I can incorporate them into my list and kind of build my meals around them. So I should be getting my period this week, super fun, right? But like some of the foods I should be eating are leafy greens, mushrooms, blackberries, blueberries, ginger and miso, which is something a little bit different I can make a meal out of. Fatty fish are recommended, but I do not eat that because I'm vegan, but the other source of protein they recommend is soybean, which is perfect, some tofu. So thinking about those ingredients, I'm like, okay. Blackberries and blueberries, I can put in a yogurt bowl. Add some pumpkin seeds and flax seeds on top, great. That's one meal, that's like a breakfast meal. Mushrooms, miso, and tofu make miso soup. Could not be more perfect. And no, miso soup does not include this miso. Kale and leafy greens, are we surprised that I can eat salad? My little salad kits I love to get. And then I'm just gonna pick up other like ingredients or things that I'm out of. I'm out of bagels, so I'll grab some of those and like avocado. And I try to buy enough food for only like four-ish, five days because I've had the bad habit before of like buying too much food at once and then I literally just can't eat it all before it goes bad. So I'm like, I'll sacrifice, I'll sacrifice going to Trader Joe's more times. I mean, what a burden to me if it means I'll be wasting less food. Okay, all right, enough of me talking. Let's actually get out of the house and get some food so I can eat something as well. Bye, bye chickens, see you.
need it but rice noodles to make my miso soup with, but I'll figure out something to do with that. I'm just gonna run to the pet store real quick to pick up Zoe's food. Woo! Before I even put any of these away, I'm literally just gonna find the yogurt. I have to eat first. I'm so hungry. Wherever it is, here it is. To be honest, I don't really even like this Trader Joe's version of vegan yogurt. It's organic cashew cultured yogurt. I like the so delicious one that's like coconut based, but I can only find that at Target and I really do not feel like going to Target or a different store to try to get just yogurt. This one's fine. It's just like very yogurty, if that makes sense. It's like very fermented tasting. Like it low-key kind of tastes like sour cream. But it's fine, we'll work with it. We'll put in sweetener and fruit and hope for the best. We're gonna try to make it better with a little splash of maple syrup, vanilla, cinnamon. That made it edible. <laughs> and I picked up some blueberries and blackberries. Like I said, I'm just gonna wash these off real quick. They didn't have the cheap blueberries. I don't really buy organic produce because I'm cheap. I don't really care. So I had to buy like five or six dollar blueberries, which I personally think is ridiculous, but. Oh, I bought organic blackberries too. I didn't mean to do that. No wonder my total was so expensive. My God. I think I want to put some banana in it too. I love when you open a fresh bag of granola and like all the big chunks are at the top. Look at that, turned out pretty good. What do you think? You're my food inspector. Okay, now finally after this, I can shower. I've been looking forward to this shower. Honestly, I look forward to it every week. I hate the inconvenience of washing my hair because then I have to like blow dry it and do everything. But obviously I love washing my hair when it feels grimy and then it's all fresh and new and blown out and you just feel like a fucking supermodel. So I got a whole routine. The reason why I wash my hair only once a week is because I like prep it to last that entire week. And by prep it, that just means do the treatment, double shampoo it, and then heat protect it and blow dry it. If I do not blow dry my hair, it's gonna get greasy in two days, but when I blow dry it, I only need to put dry shampoo in it on like day four and then slick it back for the last two days and I'm good. I don't know what science is behind that, but I'll stand with it. Hello. I'm vulnerable right now. Ah. As much as I wish there was an easier way to show you my shower routine, um, there's not. So we have an amazing soup and I'm gonna show you all the steps. And this video is sponsored by Native. So you will be seeing these as a part of my routine. All right, let's get into this. So of course I'm starting off with wetting my hair and my first shampoo of the shower, getting out that oil treatment and then also just clarifying any other product buildup from the week. And then it's time for the first round of body wash. Of course, using my Native body wash, this is in the sweet peach and nectar scent and I take that on a washcloth first to really exfoliate my skin get off any dead skin or again more product buildup and prep for shaving and native has a wide range of these long lasting scents with new ones being released all the time a few that I have are the cucumber and mint which is so fresh and clean lilac and white tea which just makes me feel like I got out of a spa and the one that I was using the sweet peach and nectar which is perfect for spring coming up and they have a list of ingredients that tell you what each ingredient is for so you know what you're putting on your body and what is exactly in this body wash but it is phthalate and dye free vegan and cruelty free made with plant-based cleansers and it has citric acid for ph balance for a nice and healthy skin i'm now going in with my second shampoo of my shower this time to actually clean my hair once all of the product buildup is out and then i'm going to shave but you don't need to see that then washing out the shampoo going in with conditioner and i usually just put this in my hair and tie it up so that it can sit while i do my second and final round of body wash i think what I like most about this body wash is how well it like froths up and gets really sudsy so it makes you feel super clean and it leaves no residue but it does have the super long lasting scent and if you're interested in something a little bit more sweet and fun Native also released this candy shop collection which has all these crazy scents like this sour berry belt which smells exactly like the candy so if you're interested in trying out Native for yourself you can use the link in my description and code basically2 to get 20% off your first purchase at Native this offer is available site wide but only for a limited time, so make sure you stock up and save. Okay, we are out of the shower, obviously. Um, I did put on a little bit of makeup just to feel like a normal human being today, but I'm also wearing sweatpants. I'm gonna be cleaning and doing chores. Like, I'm not putting on actual pants for that. But yeah, at this point, I just let my hair air dry like 60%, just so that it's less work when I blow dry it. Um, and then I will do the whole blow dry routine, but I guess we'll just like start doing said chores and getting things started. I'm gonna have to ignore my hair for a bit while it's wet, but. I think I think we can manage that. Okay, so I still haven't put away my groceries. 
I honestly didn't feel like it before I showered, um, so we gotta put those away first. I didn't buy any, I don't think I bought anything frozen, so that's, that's okay. All right, y'all, let the cleaning montage commence. What's on today's playlist, you may ask? It's usually One Direction. We know that cleaning means One Direction, but I'm switching it up today, and we're listening to Taylor Swift. realizing right now that I have to wash all my dish towels and I have some bath towels I have to wash too so I'm just gonna throw them in you know again we're multitasking so they can wash while I clean we're getting things done Okay, my hair is starting to get dry and it's annoying me, so I need to just like completely dry it and do it. I'm a hair up girly. I really cannot stand when my hair is down. Maybe when I like freshly style it. I'm just gonna section it up. And then just some heat protectant. This is the Hask Argan Oil 5-in-1 Leave-In Spray. And then pretty self-explanatory. I'm just gonna blow dry it each section and then I'm gonna straighten it. Oh, I also always blow dry on cool, even though it still comes out kind of warm. I always do cool. There we go. Now she's ready and prepped for the next seven days. If you ever wanted to know how I get myself clean and presentable for the world, that was my entire routine. Babies were waiting for some water. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't realize you were out. I still need to buy an iron so I can iron my messed up cushions. I said in a previous video, I like washed the covers, which I've done plenty of times before, but for some reason they dried all weird and crinkly. I don't own an iron. I should, I should go and buy one. <laughs>
intermission. I needed a snack and some water. These are my oatmeal cookies that I make in every freaking video. You know what? I don't think I drank any water yet today. We're almost done cleaning. All I have left to do is the bathroom, but again, I just wanted to take a little break. I'm like sweating, it's starting to get hot. I gotta take Zoe on her afternoon walk and then I might just eat some lunch when I come back. Oh, I forgot about the laundry I put in too. I gotta go do that. Put it in the dryer. Are you ready to go for a walk? Come on, come on. I made the mistake of laying down and I can't seem to get up. <laughs> Honestly, the only thing left that I actually have to do is clean my bathroom and then make dinner when that time comes along. It's been a pretty solid day. Maybe I'll make like a matcha or something. Try to give me a little pick me up. Oh, what do you want? <laughs> what do you want? Am I not giving you enough attention? I'm sorry. Okay, let's finally do my bathroom. It's only gonna take me like five minutes, so let me just get it done. Yay, we're all done. All right, let's make some miso soup. I so wish Trader Joe's had the noodles in stock because I like to add noodles to make like a more hearty filling meal because all that goes in this is some mushrooms, tofu, and some green onions, which it's not the most filling of items. So if I'm still hungry after this, I'll just like make something else. I am really craving some miso soup and this has miso and ginger, which were two of the ingredients I should be eating this week. And the mushroom and the soybean all combining together to make the little perfect little meal I need. I just take like a cup, maybe a cup and a half and just put it into a saucepan and then just chop everything up really tiny. All right, here's what it looks like with just all the ingredients in it. It's more or less just heating everything up because none of these items technically need to be like cooked through. We're just making sure everything is like heated throughout. And I'm gonna add some more flavor to it because it would be a little bland without it. I'm gonna add a splash of soy sauce, a little bit of sriracha, and then some of the Trader Joe's crunchy chili oil. Look at this. That is a thing of beauty. And so is that. And so is that. Hello. All right, I guess I'll say now we're kicking off the night routine because pretty much it starts after I eat dinner. If I eat decently late, it's eight o'clock. I usually don't eat this late, maybe like seven. Honestly, as soon as the show comes out for the night, it's bedtime. Makes it more fun that way. All right guys, I think that's it. I think we did everything that we needed to do today. After I wash my face, it's bedtime. Like I'm getting in bed and staying in there until I fall asleep. It's literally only 9.30, which is actually later than most days when I get into bed. But yeah, I hope you liked all of my little routines. They keep me sane, they keep me productive, and I will see y'all in my next video.